Hey, we all know it is hot out there. And if you're like my family, you probably have everybody running in all these different directions, lots of summer activities. So what do you do to try to make sure everybody is staying hydrated? Especially when the kids aren't fans of just drinking plain water and you're not a fan of all those sugary drinks. Well, we've got some suggestions for you. Dr. Andrea Purcell is joining us this morning. She's a naturopathic medical doctor with Portal to Healing Naturopathic Clinic. And you have some recipes for us that are great alternatives to all those sugary drinks. So I love this because it seems like in the summer, well, anytime, there, it's that big push, you know, grab that Gatorade and, and down it. And I'm thinking, well, they just ran around, but they've also just, you know, drank, drunk mm -hmm. uh, so many calories. Mm -hmm. Let's start with dehydration, though. When do you know that you are becoming dehydrated? Yeah, so when you're dehydrated, you'll get the symptoms of nausea, dizziness, feeling overheated, and a really bad sign is if you're sweating and then you stop sweating. And that's exactly what happened to me yesterday, out golfing. I went from just being drenched and all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, I'm not sweating at all here. Mm -hmm. So when I go to replenish my body, actually, how much should I be drinking? I know, it's such a good question. So we need water and we need electrolytes. And many people don't even know what an electrolyte is. And so electrolytes are positively and negatively charged salts. And they help transport water throughout our bodies and we really need them. And so what happens here in Phoenix in the summer especially is we sweat out salt. And then if we only replenish water back, that's not the best. So we do need to so replenish you need some our electrolytes. Form of that. Okay, mm -hmm. and you have some recipes for us this morning. What do you suggest as some good replacement? Okay, so I have two examples for you this morning. The first are ones that you can buy at the store. So one is Recharge, which is a healthy Gatorade replacement. Okay. The next is coconut water, which comes from the young coconuts. All of the electrolytes are naturally occurring in there. This has become very it's popular. Very popular. Mm -hmm. Is this is this where you can get the most electrolytes, would you say? Yes, and you can dilute that with half water, half coconut water. You can even dilute it with half recharge, half coconut water, if, say, your kids don't like the taste of it. Okay, no, that's good to know. And then what's in here? Okay, so, and then I have two examples of healthy electrolyte beverages you can make at home. And then let's do it. All right, so this, this is. is a healthy limeade, and I'm going to let you sample it, and you let me know how it is. So it is in one quart of water, you do a quarter of a teaspoon of salt, a quarter of a cup of honey, and a quarter cup of lime juice. Oh, that sounds pretty simple. I mean, this is something even the kids can make. That's right. You can give the recipe to your kids and give it a whirl. That's good. It's hydrating. Yeah, it it's really good. good. Mm -hmm. And it's not over the top any sugar. There's nothing that's really jumping out, but yet it, it tastes good. Yeah. And you can tell that it's hydrating you. No, this is wonderful. And a lot of people use lemons and lemonade, but really limes are very hydrating as well. And so you could just and give it a think different about twist. It. Mm -hmm. What else did you bring here? Okay, and then I made you a juice. Ooh, I and love juicing. And it's three simple ingredients, celery, apple, and lemon. And okay. celeries are very hydrating. They also have all of the essential electrolytes and salts that we need. So it's one cup of celery juice, one cup of apple juice, and a quarter cup of lemon juice. It's so simple. And yet, so simple. But you know what? I hate to say it. We are, we are lazy. I mean, we do the grab and go. It's like get, grab the Gatorade, grab the Powerade, and I can imagine just the amount of calories that we're intaking when you don't need to. Mm -hmm. Let me taste this. That's really good. It's refreshing. Yeah, And just very, over a very little good. ice and... Now, would you suggest, I work out at the gym. Uh -huh. Should I drink this before I go, or do I bring it with me, or do I drink it after? Okay, so let's use the rule of thumb of how much water and how much electrolytes. Okay. Okay, so you take your body weight, and half of your body weight is what you drink in water. So if you're a 140 pound person, then 70 ounces in water. Mm. And then for Phoenix in the summer, you're looking at about 25% of that to come from electrolyte replacement. So you're going to do 15 to 20 ounces of electrolyte replacement and the rest water. Ooh. So if you're working out, the rule of thumb also is 25 ounces of fluid per hour. Okay. Okay. And start at the beginning. So if you're going golfing or you're going outside, you have to start hydrating right at the beginning. Don't wait. Don't wait. And that's exactly mm -hmm. what I did yesterday. I waited, and sure enough, I w got really sweaty, and then I stopped, and then I was dehydrated. Mm -hmm. And another one more pit tip is that when you're in the pool and out at the lake, don't forget to 
to hydrate, you have to. Just because you're around water doesn't mean that you're hydrating. It's so true. Thank you. Great information, doctor. We'll be right back with more of the Morning Scramble.